Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Japan campaign in Europe, Inner South 4. I'm going to transport our fleet, uh, these guys up north, and we're going to use them. Ooh, the Sakoko Law. Yeah. Question it. Administrative cost goes down, or keep following it. Till the death of our character, we get national unrest and more missionary strength. Keep following it. Follow the law. Till the end of all time. We we should have a modifier in here that basically lasts until the end of the game. Uh, Sakokwa Law. There it is, right there. Missionary strength minus one. Or plus one. And um, that makes us like, again, we really, really, really super don't tolerate anyone but our own faith. That's okay. We also have a missionary strength guy on hire. Can we hire a cheap missionary strength guy? I'd much rather have an inquisitor that's cheap. He's level 3. Uh, we could probably afford it. Yeah, I think so. How would that affect our... Ah, uh, you're a bit high up there on influence right now. Okay, I think we go with a level 2 then. We got some lands to convert here, man. Get this stuff converted. We have met the Navajo. That is not where they are, game. They're not up there, they're down here. They really need to fix that. Our ships are currently suffering attrition. Uh, I need diplomats. Korea spy stuff is not important. I need to sell ships. Before they sink. Oh, you're at war now? Garja's not at war. Would you like a heavy ship? You would totally take it for free. You will take it for 20. Bahmanis, how about you? Vigianagar. I'll sell you two heavy ships. For the small price of 50 ducats. It sounds good. Garja, I'll take that sold ship for whatever the price was. Okay, our colony has finished somewhere. Do we want to colonize here to get a border with you so we can annex you? I think the answer is very clearly yes. This is too far away according to this because the core is not finished. Ming has accepted the demand for the province of Pur. Breton War was accepted. But once this colony is, this core is done, we could call it core there. Ming is getting beaten up. Getting adjacencies to additional natives is very important. And one of our ships sank. These things are ship, they're, they're sinking fast, man. Garjot, buy these ships. Buy both of them. I don't care. Enjoy your heavies. I don't like them. So do we focus on trying to get adjacencies to the, the Native Americans? Or do we focus on trying to get the colonial nation to have... First off, do you have ideas to give you your colonists yet? You have... Expansion. You have full expansion ideas, so yes, you do have a colonist. You should be colonizing. But you don't seem to be, which says to me that your income is too low. Let's look in the ledger. Country. Japanese. Australia. They make three ducats a month. I'm willing to subsidize them. We'll give them a subsidy for forever of two, three ducats a month. And eventually I'll cancel that. But if we're going to do that, there's really not a lot more Colonial Australia left. Is there? I mean, well, I guess I could go around.
These are both my colonies. So I'm expecting you to start colonizing soon. I'm giving you three ducats. It really should show here. But they're getting the ducats. Meanwhile, we were waiting on cores because I was considering colonizing here. I think we will. So that we can then eat the Blackfoot. And we go back to fabricating on Ming. And Korea. Our truce with you is up very soon in November of 76. That's the end of this year. But I've already relocated my army up to here. The Confucian zealots are giving them some issues since I forced him to be Shinto. I wanted to attack Shun. How about the Oirat? Another Bernian Separatist. Wow. I was not expecting that at all. Never mind. Looks like we're going to hop into these boats. I thought we were all done worrying about Bruni. Brunei. Whatever you call it. Rather kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. A bunch of buildings were completed, which means that our naval force limit has gone up. Ouch. They had already moved by the time we landed. Negative three penalty. Maybe we just focus on Malacca rather than worrying about the Oirat for now. I mean, since we're down here. Should be a large enough army. Are you colonizing? I want you to start colonizing, you little bastard. I'm willing to do one more for you. You have a gold mine now, for Christ's sake. Like, you should have enough income. Japanese Australia makes 441 plus the three ducats a month I'm giving them. Like, why are you not colonizing? Here goes the truce with Malacca. On hunt for the seven seas or whatever it is. These guys are fine. Keeps on like moving me to like a really weird location. When you do that. Need to build some more men. Let's build them on the mainland. We're like pretty shy of our force limit, so.
I'd rather just have a, a purely infantry army. Okay, uh, Nootka. Let's try that again. Nootka. Makes fish. I'd, I'd prefer the admin points right now anyway, because we're doing an admin ID group. Let's convert Nootka. Hire a conquistador. Or gain... no. Oh, our conquistador just died. Well, it's fine. I'd rather have the admin points anyway. And then hire a conquistador for military points. This army is, like, hemorrhaging my manpower. Because it's too large. Let's do this. As soon as you arrive there, stop. And I'm gonna pull off, like... Seven of them. Back to here. And we'll just explore with this many. Hopefully we stop suffering so much attrition. If you don't start colonizing soon, I am going to revoke your gear, your your money. In fact, I'm going to revoke it right now. I'm going to clean up my borders with Ming, so we take claim on Igon. Then we come back from Ming. We need more against you before we can do anything with you. We have no truce with Ming, and Ming has no allies, and I think they're still bankrupt. So, we might as well. I've got so many different wars to do right now. go here in case his army's north of the strait. Gives us free reign down here. We blockade that fort. We do, I hope, still have the siege value guy. We do. Good. Where is he? What's he up to right now? Oh, he's right here. Good. We've got two. Two cannons. Let's take one of the cannons and three of the infantry. to here. Put the siege guy in charge, get that siege started. We'll go and reinforce and just blockade this straight. We're allowed to, we'll go there, we're not. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and I am a dummy. For some reason I thought that we only needed 4,000 troops, we need 6,000 for that. Wars are complete. Cause of stability is offsetting all of that. We're paying nothing to root out corruption. Our army maintenance is acceptable. Our truce with Majapit is now up. So it's going to be the same thing for you in just a moment. He is trying to cross his strait. So we need to put the general in charge here. We need to go pick up more men.
Okay, um, same things before. One plus as many of the mercs as we can. My navy is getting absolutely slaughtered right now. Great. I just lost, like, almost all my transports to his heavies. Okay, well, it's a good thing we have the ability to train mercs here, because, uh... Yeah, that was bad. a lot of dudes. No, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have to worry about, like, any of this bullshit. I think that I should be able to just go there, actually. Thank you. There is zero reason that I should be blocked by Hostile Fort. This army should be allowed to go this way. This is just such horse shit. makes no sense whatsoever. Now it can come down here. What the hell just happened with that? God, that is so dumb. I did not expect him to have that many heavies. I must admit. And prevent me from being able to merge my armies. I mean, clearly we have enough We have enough manpower to, like, build a field a good army, but... Liberty Desire above 50 can't build there. Well, we're in the jungle. We're defending. We've got a 2-1 versus a 3-1. They've got a huge morale bump. I should not have, uh... Should not have sold all my heavies. <laughs> we should have a little bit of a naval presence, I think. Possibly. Meanwhile, Corchin's having some serious issues with Confucian Zealots. I really don't care, though. It's their own problem. So I'm expecting this fight's probably not going to go too well. Indeed, it did not. Give me a chance to recover some morale, please. That would be nice. And didn't I see we got a modifier that's giving us, like, 33% movement speed right now? I 
thought so, but I guess not. I guess I'm supposed to have some some heavies on on hand. I think that I'm gonna try to get this integration starting again. Get this integration complete at some point in the near future. Okay, so 24,000 troops. I'm wondering if maybe I can sneak these guys down around this way and land them down here. Let's come in from, from down here. And land them down here. Maybe we can get another 15k troops and then we'll have 24,000. And then we'll have no issues beating this guy whatsoever. Until though, until then, though, I'm going to take a break here. And I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.